Welcome back to Vintage HLC Show and Tell. Today we're looking at demitasse cups and saucers. Demitasse cups and saucers are smaller versions of the teacup and saucer and they're used for serving strong coffee after dinner. Sometimes they're listed as after dinner cups and saucers or simply AD cups and saucers. Almost every early Homer Lachlan shape had them and they disappear from assortments in the mid-1950s. So we're just going to go through look at some of these shapes and some of the different patterns. We'll start with Golden Gate, the late 1890s. Rather elaborate gold tracing going on. There's the Golden Gate back stamp, the eagle and lion in the circle. Colonial with Trinity Rose and gold stamps. There's a rather weak colonial back stamp. And when it comes to these cups and saucers. The cups won't be marked. There's only one of them that is marked. It's a special case. But the saucers generally will. King Charles, a rather difficult line to find from the early 1900s, though somehow I've ended up with three examples of demitasse cups and saucers. Gold border stamp, gold stamps, and rose decals with gold stamps. There's the King Charles marking. With these early shapes, I've said this time and time again, it's hard to see the embossing sometimes, but this one's a pretty good strike. You can see that chain embossing on King Charles. Hudson, which was released in 1908. This particular example is dated 1920, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Niagara, which comes from around 1910, gold stamps, nice green underglaze print with yellow and red filled in details by hand. There's your Niagara marking. There are no date codes on Niagara. We don't see date codes until we get into the Genesee shape. Empress, with a blue medallion decal and blue edge line. Empress was introduced in 1913. Uh, this comes from 1922. And this Empress example comes a little later. The border decal. It's dated 1939. Republic with gold stamps. 1919. If you find a Republic Demitasse cup and saucer in one of the solid color glazes like Harlequin yellow, Harlequin blue, Fiesta red and spruce green, those were meant for Tango dinnerware sets. Tango didn't have a Demitasse cup and saucer so they picked up the Republic and mixed it in. Yellowstone with its octagon shape from 1929, the purple orchid decal. The knoll shape from the late 1920s. Typical rose decal with a black and yellow. Light yellow depression era glaze. This comes from 1929. The well shape. You also find these in art glazes. This comes from 1936 glazed in vellum. And we have another well set. This comes from 1936. Now in the mid-1930s there were several shapes that didn't have demitasse cups and saucers. Like Old Roman, Orleans, Ravenna, Virginia Rose, Marigold, Coronet, and Georgian Ivory, or Craftsman as it's sometimes called. So instead of making one for certain Craftsman sets, they picked up the wells shape and mixed it in. So you will not find this particular pattern on other pieces of wells. You will find it on Georgian ivory. In fact, this teacup has a platinum stamp. Teacup. It's a demitasse cup. Has a platinum stamp Georgian dinnerware USA. So that is a pickup piece. This is a rather odd pairing. I've got six of these. So that's Century 
dummy test cup with Columbine decal made for Woolworths and it's paired with a null shape in the depression yellow glaze same decal treatment 1930 usually you won't see mixed shapes like this when it comes to these dummy task cups and saucers Nautilus which comes from the mid 1930s though this example is dated 1950 see the Nautilus handle. Harlequin. Saucers will not be marked. Made for Woolworths of course. Actually you have more things made for Woolworths. Brittany with the Majestic treatment in maroon which was made for Woolworths. This is 1930. Oh, no this is 1940. The blue version I believe is 1939. Same underglazed silk screen print, but just in a different color. And that is 1939. Now, Rhythm, which came out in 1951, didn't have demitasse cups and saucers. So they picked up the Brittany shape and glazed them in solid colors. Generally, the saucers will not be marked. More than likely, that was done at the request of Woolworths, because Woolworths did carry Rhythm in solid colors. Treatment number W551, if I'm not mistaken. Swing eggshell with little rose sprigs, as well as daisies. These daisies were also used on Modern Farmer. This one is dated 19... I think that's a 46. It's kind of smudged. Americana. This is the only line that used this special little cylindrical demi task cup. This particular print is a view, from San, view of San Francisco. We looked at all these prints in a previous video. Made for Montgomery Wards. Theme eggshell, the late 1930s. We see the fruit border. Decal was originally used on Coronet. And this comes from 1942. Now, even though Georgian Ivory didn't have demi tasse cups and saucers, when Georgian Eggshell came out in 1940, they did add them to the assortment. So you will find Georgian Eggshell demi tasse cups and saucers. The saucers will be marked with the typical back stamp. This one's from 1942. Now, I said that uh, these demi tasse cups and saucers were no longer offered in assortments in the mid-1950s. In fact, Epicure didn't have one, and then the lines that follow generally don't have one. There's a couple of exceptions. This is one of them, which is Imperial Blue Dresden. Not going to be marked, but it's using the restyled Virginia Rose shape. Now, some lines had demi tasse coffee pots. Not a lot of them. We'll look at a couple of those. This is the Wells shape. These aren't going to be marked. I think the pot is, though. Let's see. 1934. So we got yellow and green stripes. The sugar is open. There's no lid for the demi tasse sugar in Wells. And here it is in leaf green. And these will be marked with the Wells Art Glazes back stamp. Century had demi tasse sugar and creamer. They didn't have a pot, though. And just like the Wells version, the Century version the, the, doesn't have a lid. I put a regular sugar and creamer in the back for size comparison. You can see how small these are. And there are two styles, and interestingly I have one of each. Uh, there's the stubby foot, which you see here. And then there's the typical flared foot. This is Briar Rose Treatment C1. In fact, these have the treatment numbers in the bottom. So yeah, the demi tasse sugar and creamer of Century, those are really hard to find. Fiesta, of course, the demi tasse coffee pot found in six glazes. Here's the Fiesta demi tasse coffee cup. There's the Fiesta marking. The demi tasse cups were part of the reissue line with stick handles, and then they changed them to ring handles. Swing eggshell. 
There's a demitasse coffee pot, the creamer, and a demitasse sugar. The demitasse sugar is simply a demitasse cup without its handle. There's a little set there. And often the swing sets were used uh, as children's sets or juvenile wear. So we have a tea set here with these animal decals. We've got the skating monkey, the pig on the goose, the skating hippo, and the skating elephant. These come from uh, 1941. We'll be looking at these decals in more detail later on because they were used on several Homer Lachlan shapes as well as by other potteries. So that's going to be it for now for Demitasse Cups and Saucers by Homer Lachlan.